Hey and welcome. Today we will solve largest odd number in a string interview question. This one is simple and quick, so let's get into it. Here's the first example. We have a number in a string form, in this case 52, and this is an even number. But the only odd thing about this number is 5 here. So we might return it again in a string form. Second example. And there's no odd digits within this number. So as the question states, we might return an empty string in response. And the last example, which is the entire point of this question, we have a quite big number and we already see a few odd digits in it. But the largest number that they form is the given value itself because it ends with seven and obviously it's an odd number. So that is what we need to return as answer. Let's see how we are going to solve this problem. Let's take the last example and elaborate on it a bit more. This question is actually divided into two sections. First is finding the odd number or numbers, then pick the biggest value out of them. So how we can find odd numbers within this string? Of course you know how. It is all about just doing a simple for loop over this string and as soon as we see an odd digit within that string form, we store that number somewhere. Because you know that the presence of odd digit is enough to convert whatever digits come before it to an odd number. And the second step is easy. Just toss those numbers into a mass.max and you have the answer there. But wait, what are we doing here? Why are we brute forcing to find the biggest number? The problem here is that we are finding the biggest number from left to right and because of that, of course we will end up with brute forcing it. So instead, why are we not iterating from right end of this string value? Because in that case, we are looking for the number by using our biggest odd number detector goggles by default. And whatever odd number comes rightmost as possible is the biggest number it will represent. And with that being said, let's jump into the code to implement the solution. So here we are in lead code. Let's do our iteration over a given string from end of it. So i will be as big as the length of the string and as long as it is larger than or equal to zero, we will decrement it. And within this iteration, we need to check if the value is odd. How? If we take that number and do a modulo by two on it, and if the result of it is one, then it's an odd number. And by the way, since we get the number in a string form, every digit of it is also going to be a string. So we need to parse int it. In in fact, you can also ignore the parse int, you will be fine, just wanted to hint you that the digit is in string form. So if we are in this if case, then we know that we have the biggest odd number, because we are iterating from end of the string. So we will substring it and return it. And eventually at the end, if we get out of this loop with no result, we might return an empty string as problem description says so. Now if I run this, test cases are passing, and if I submit, we are in a good shape here. Now let's jump into the slides for time and space complexity analysis. So the time complexity will be O of n because at worst case we could get a biggest string that has only an odd digit at the leftmost index and for that we might iterate over the whole string. And the space complexity will be O of 1 constant because simply we did not allocate any space at all. So that was it for this video. Thanks for watching and please leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. I will put a few more links about different playlists in the description for you to check it out. And finally, hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one.